be you're gonna you gonna tell me like like you have authority over me to tell me what to do no nah, i'm gonna tell you the same thing i'm gonna tell you the same thing that that juicy j said like you you don't have any authority over me to for if you are performing i can do whatever i want you know what i'm saying don't be mad because you an r&b you're basically an r&b rapper and we, <laughs> we we slow dancing to your songs You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. But I want to jump into something non-sports related, which is hip hop, baby. The the versus battle between Three Shades Mafia and Bone Thugs was straight fire, man. It was like, I felt like I was back in high school, you know, listening to, to a lot of them songs, like, you know, Thuggish Ruggish Bone, For the Love of mm-hmm. Money, um, you know. Weed Song, Fried Day. You know, uh, that's just chicken on the head. side. And then on 3-6, Chicken Head, Sipping on Some Scissor, Ass and Titties. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, man. It was, it, it was, it was, it was, it was epic. It was epic. And uh, probably the most epic part that happened in, in the show was the part where it got a little, you know, Test you know? <laughs> yeah yeah that, that that was that was kind of kind of funny uh to see that happen um, what you feel about that though as far as you know the whole supposedly fight or pushes how did you feel about that um I, I thought it was funny i thought it was entertaining um i thought it was typical of busy bone to do something crazy um, but you would have done the same shit Nah, man. No, nah, I, I, sen- I ain't sensitive like that. You know, so, some some people or some dudes are sensitive or women are sensitive like that. But when, when you in a battle, when you in a battle, uh, like, you know, your your intent is really kind of look the make to make the other act or person look bad. And if somebody tried to call me out and say, oh, um, you know, don't be, you're going to, you're going to tell me like, like you have authority over me to tell me what to do. No, nah, I'm going to tell you the same thing. I'm going to tell you the same thing that, that Juicy J said, like you, you don't have any authority over me to, for if you are performing, I can do whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? Don't be mad because you an r and you're basically an r and rapper and we, <laughs> we, we slow dancing to your songs. I mean, come on, man. You're basically an R&B rapper, and we slow dance into your songs, and you mad because of that? Come on, really man. they're like, R&B rappers? I think so. I, I would consider them R&B rappers. They they basically sing. They don't sing. What are you talking about? Bone Thugs does sing. They sing on almost every song. Nah, I think it's we more harmony. You think you think you think, you you think, think you that's not singing to you? That's just that's singing, bro. Like they harm they literally called phone thugs and harmony. So they yes. harmonizing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah harmonizing, the the raps. harmonizing, bro. Come on. I, I, I disagree with that. I would have I would have done the same shit if I was busy born. Somebody invite me, another dude that I got beef with inviting me to his to his private area. I do the same thing. Like, come on, man. Like, you, you know, of course, yeah, it's a battle, but like, you know, it's the South, man. You know, in the South, they move a certain way. They ain't like New York where it's like the locks and um, versus we Dipset the and their homeboys. Nah, 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 nah. nah Cleveland ain't the South. Cleveland's huh? the North. What? Cleveland ain't the South, bro. It's the oh, I'm South. thinking about Memphis. I'm thinking about Memphis, you know. Oh, okay. Um, but, but, but yeah, um, regardless of the fact, um, like you, 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 if I got problems with you and me and me and me and Chris was talking about this before we even jumped on the podcast, like the day of the actual um, verses, like before they even had the verses, like way during the day. And, you know, he put me on point about, you know, um, the Thugs Cry song, because I had I'm sent him the Thugs Cry song about, you know, certain songs that I want to be played and this, that and the other. And I didn't even know that um, Busy Bone had two shots at three six on that actual song you feel me so they already had problems you know like and and just the plain fact that that and you know not just problems but i think they were shooting at each other and everything you know the whole nine when it kind of beef like real beef 
You feel me? Like back in the day. So um, for me to even be on the stage with you, like you're not going to you're not going to try me like that. You feel me? You not it, it's not going it, it, to it's different when y'all when y'all cool and you dancing around and it's somebody like y'all cool like that. If I got a problem with you, you're not going to be playing with me like, you know, it, it's versus. Yeah, I'm going to respect you. You're going to respect me. I'm going to play mine. You're going to play yours. But I ain't going to be trying to clown you. On, on on stage in front of all these people like we ain't never had no beef before and yeah, if Gucci, if you Gucci man and the young Jeezy had beef and they were clowning each other the whole time but nobody Gucci, was nobody Jeezy was, wasn't clowning nobody Gucci was clowning him it was one sided see, when it came but, to the clown but the point is is that you don't you don't like take it to a level where you know people could die that night you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying mean, look, like, look at, come look, on. Look if what you happened. take if you take it to a level like that. Really, there's somebody in another camp may take is is likely so, take so the so, so the Cameron the Cameron and uh and uh who else was grabbing Cameron's foot like on Styles the stage P. like yeah and Styles P like it was it was getting testy like it's because people playing like that don't be playing with people like that and thinking that it's a game you feel what I'm saying like I'm on national television lucky it it was gonna get testy with that one. It was gonna get testy with the Gucci Man thing, but I understand the Gucci Man thing because these people tried to kill me. Same thing, like I'm saying with the Bone Thugs and and Three Six. If they had beef back in the days and from the the actual uh, um song, you know, it's like you know they really had beef. It was not just oh I don't like you and you don't like me because Bone had problems with Kusha Conflict. They had problems with Twister. They had problems with Do or Die, but they ain't had no gunplay problems. They just had all right. Y'all copying my style with them as far as I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this one was gunplay problems either. I think it was from from what um um I, I seen some other interviews. Problem. I seen other interviews. You feel what I mean? Like um um on top of the one that I had sent you with Busy Bone and what happened. I think I think this was mainly like the same thing with Do or Die, Crucial Conflict. I think it was more of a like. Cause come on, they're all the way in Cleveland. These guys are all the way in Memphis, Tennessee, but. They probably started coming up around the same time, but Bone had like a quicker trajectory upwards. And I think the I think the only like uh, style comparison is the fact that they talk about dark stuff. And nah, probably can. Lord Lord Infamous is probably the only one who probably kind of raps like them. I, I, I don't know. You. I don't know you. Mark, yeah, Marcus would be able to say more I about that. You, Lord Infamous but when like it that. comes ultimately comes down to it, after the, when 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 they was going through their little tussling on the stage. When the stuff that she um whoever I don't know if it was Gangsta Boy or the chat was saying, it mean it, it you're not gonna say that for somebody that you like was cool with and he just snapped because he ain't on his meds or he on like like you was throwing real shots, like y'all really had problems with each other. You know what I'm saying? So again, like for me, like if you know me and you have problems with each other, then and, and we just trying to get this bag, then that's it, we gonna get this bag. But you trying to clown me knowing that we 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 really had beef. It, I just say it was gunplay. We know it was gunplay with Gucci. You feel me? Like, dude tried to kill Gucci. Like, and, and Jeezy didn't want no smoke anyway. You feel what I'm saying? Jeezy did not want no smoke. As far as with the dip set, as far as with the with the locks, it was cool. And look, look, it almost got into something. So, again, you're not going to clown no grown man on that stage. I feel what you're saying. But, but again, if you want it to just be about the bag and we make this bread, you feel me? Then let it be about that. But once you start doing low blows and saying certain shit and you yeah, don't, don't think was, then you don't, don't know how people going to react. At all. I, yeah, I don't think it was a low blow at all for them to, um, you know, um, be slow dancing together to, that, to that, 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 their, their R&B song, which was Buddha Lovers that they was doing it to, which I love. One of the classic songs, uh, probably the best smoking weed song of all time you could probably say um for for them to do that and for him to be like for be like oh don't be don't be clowning on us while while we doing our songs like come on like who is you like who is you like for real um that's what i'm saying if they were cool then then it's just all fun and games if we got problems you ain't doing none of that clowning shit with me that's just that's just me. But you see how we just got two different perspectives and we both seen the same thing. Everybody, I, 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 I don't know if there was like real beef though. Like you, I, yeah, I, I, don't I don't think so think, either. I don't think it's real beef between them. Like like how you saying or like how Gucci Man and, and Jeezy had like real. Nah, beef. They, you didn't hear what they were saying. Like they was like, damn, we were supposed to. Why we 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 were supposed to fight in our twenties? We wait until we like close to fifty to fight. 
Uh, he you didn't say fight. He just said he just said this has been twenty years and like twenty six years in the making. I don't think that has to do anything with fighting. I just think that no, 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 no. See, see, what you heard is not what I heard. You probably heard something else as well. But uh, uh, I don't know if it was DJ Paul that said it. You feel me? Or 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 Lazy Bone that said what I said. As far as um like uh, we wait until our forty five uh, until we're like forty five fifty to fight. We should have fought 20 years ago when we was younger or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I know what I heard, but you probably heard something else on top of what I heard. I mean, I'll, I'll say, Busy Bone, did you see, like, in the beginning, there was all, like, before they even started competing, there was all dapping each other up, and Busy Bone yeah. was the only one all the way in the back. He looked like, remember, I texted you, I said, Busy Bone looked way too serious. See, he but was again, not joking around. He and we all know Busy Bone. Something's fucking. He's mentally a little unstable, bro. So again, right. that song "Thugs Cry." No other Bone um, members were on that. That was the only song that supposedly has subliminal beef towards Three Six. I haven't heard no Bone Thugs diss tracks towards Three Six. So if he's if he if, if that song "Thugs Cry" is the only song where I hear him throwing shots. And he's probably the only one that really have a problem with him. Meaning what you seen when he was on stage standoffish in the beginning, maybe it's because he got a problem with them. And the other dudes is about making bread and, you know, being part of the rap game and, you know, building and shit like that. But again, like, I mean, we have certain friends that we don't talk to. I may be straight with them. Marcus may be straight with them, but you ain't straight with them. You know what I'm saying? So again, at the end of the day, it may be that situation. So Again, at the end of the day, you got to know if you got real problems with certain people, may not be the whole group, the whole camp. But if I got problem with you, then you ain't going to be trying me. And, and, let's talk, and let's I think talk about who won that, though. Let's talk about who won that, though, because I don't know. I think 3-6 took that by far, you know? I, I, I mean, I think 3-6 won it because, like, I mean, like I said before in our group text, like 3-6 got anthems, man. Like, yeah, they got yeah. more hyped up songs there you that go. are going to get the crowd I, hyped up. Bone you know Thugs got saying? some anthems now, too, now. It's just that what you said Not on the like second hand, they though. got them club bangers, man. It's just like J. Cole. J. Cole hard as hell. But am I trying to listen to J. Cole in the club? Hell nah. I'm trying to listen to some 3-6. I'm trying to listen to some Gucci, some some something that's live. So, yeah, on that perspective, yeah, man, they beat them as far as what the the the, the um, club bangers like. But they both was coming with bangers. You know what I mean? They both was. It's yeah. just like... What you going, you going, you going to be smoking some trees when you listen in the bone, vibing. You feel me? Sipping on some Hennessy or sipping on some white liquor and, 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 and you know, smoking a joint. If you listen in the bone, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different. One is mellow, vibed out. And the other one is we about to fight. <laughs> you feel me? We yeah. about to do this. I mean, well, I, yeah, think I, feel, I feel you on that. But like the, some of the bone songs like that they played, like I ain't never heard of. I don't even know why they selected some of them. Yeah, you me know, too. Like some of them, I'm just like they could have played some better songs, like yep. than what they played, you know. And then when I look at three six, I feel like they didn't really go into the Pat library at all. You know, what I'm saying they stayed with just the three six, except for Chicken Head. Chicken Head was like the only Pat song that they played, so they could have gone real deeper. Uh, in that and then I love the fact that they brought a lot of different featured artists you know what yep. I'm saying on the stage that was great that's something that I didn't they I didn't brought really Terrence see. Howard it's hard yeah. out here from Pill oh, they brought Terrence Howard Lil Come Wayne on. in appearance I mean I mean um who else they had A Ball MJG A Ball on, MJG on see but that I mean, would have been know. a that, that would have been a better battle well not really because I really want A Ball MJG to go against UGK but that's just me you feel I me mean? But yeah, well, they're they're more of the same type of sound chance against three six or bone. By the way, <laughs> three six probably would have been better off going off with like Lil John and the East Side Boys. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, that would have been hard because yeah. you, you ain't noticed when when Lil John came out on Bone Side for that. Uh, we don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I think they won that round. Just cause, yeah, they did. They did. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I totally forgot that Crazy Bone was on that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, even though even Lil John one with Chameleon there. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that one she was hard. Crazy Bone on that one too. Crazy Bone on that song with Chameleon there, he sounded the same. 
Busy, way, busy at, did a song with Project Pat, so I don't even know how they got beef. Now I think about it, and that was on the first uh, first Project Pat album, Getty Green. Well, again, you, you, you remember get me up there, up there. That's, That's it, crazy, Bone and Pat. But again, going back to what I'm saying, man, remember Bone Thugs always had problems in their group. You feel me, Flesh and Bone yeah, always busy. Up. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you feel me? Yeah, no. Flesh and Bone know. was always, yeah, but Flesh and Bone was always locked up, but Busy was always the one, like, he was, he wasn't locked up, but he was always, like, crazy, like, he was, sometimes yeah. he wouldn't be with the group, sometimes he would be with the group. Flesh and Bone was just, it was because he was locked up, he had uh, problems with the law that you wouldn't see him with the group here yeah. and there. That's why you didn't have that many songs that Flesh and Bone was rapping. But if you really want to be technical, like, people came out to see Bone, but they came out to see Busy Bone. I'm gonna be real with you. Every like since back in the G, everybody, every Busy Bone was supposedly the hardest one. And crazy lyric, you feel me? It'll be Busy Bone, Crazy Bone, or Crazy Bone and Busy Bone. But most will say Busy Bone first, Crazy Bone. Then you got Lazy. Then you got On um, Wish, and then you got Flesh and Bone because you barely hear anything from Flesh and Bone. Yeah, but other you know, than that, uh, let me let me let me say this: the second song right that they did, Three Six came with with a banger, right? And then Bone came out with some song that I ain't really never heard. And That's I thought they was gonna, I thought they was gonna lose that. But as soon as Busy started like rapping, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, okay, I think they might have won this round just off the strength. Busy, the way he performs, the way he raps, he was fucking spitting. As soon as he fucking threw the mic and all that shit, you could tell that changed the whole energy on Bone's side. Yep, yep, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, and not just that, but an uh, interview I seen, um, DJ Paul said, DJ Paul said that verses made them finish faster than they were supposed to. I guess probably because of the little altercation. He said they, they left like six or maybe seven uh, um, songs on the table. You feel mm -hmm. me? Because he was like, damn, it's supposed to be 20 songs each. You feel me? But because of the whole little vibe, he didn't say because of the whole vibe, but me, I mean, why would they stop it? You That's feel me? Earlier, why, yeah. you feel me? That's probably why. It just like, you know, we we did a decent amount because, you know, a lot of people are going to have to get their money back if, if you know, that was in that crowd, you know, um, if, if they didn't continue. So they had to continue. You feel me? So so that once they got uh, to a point where they're like the people got uh, a decent amount where they won't sue. Let's, let's, let's just go ahead and wash our hands with this, man. Y'all going y'all separate ways, man. You call it a day. But um I ain't gonna lie though, yeah. man. Um, you feel me? Like, oh, yeah, thugs, it, was, it was a couple know? of songs. I, I I was hoping three six did. Like, I hope they. I was hoping they did play. Why you hating? Come on, Ooh, man. I thought Why they were gonna do the same thing. Hating? Come on, that's that's a song that the band used to play like so many times. You know like, why? And then um, BG BG song. locked up. BG locked up. Because I mean, if you gonna play that, they could, they could still play the beat, and they could still play three sixes verses at least. You know, they could have did that. Yeah, and but that song. Is, one, um, don't save her. They could have played Ooh. "Don't Save Her," bro. Come on. You don't wanna be saved. Don't, <laughs> don't save, save her. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, you ain't lying. Um, yeah, I mean, but, um, the, the 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 you know um the 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 track with Biggie, the track with Pac. On that. Yeah, I'm glad they did both of those. Um, um, um a weed song, the we can get no bad day. You know, yeah. they won that. You feel yeah. I me? Mean? Yeah. But I, I, I wouldn't even say like they won that or they lost that because if if three six play something that was hard, Bone came out with the pop, and you're gonna say they just won because of the pop, but three six song was tight work too. So yeah. I mean three six Definitely won one of the best battles. They they sure. they won the bat they won the verses but they didn't destroy Bone they they nah. won because there was a lot of songs like maybe like four songs that or three songs that Bone played that that was not really something that they should have just played they should have just played that when they was chilling at the crib with each other they should have played <laughs> certain things that we wanted to hear but I mean for the most part they played a lot of Busy mm -hmm. Bone tracks yeah <laughs> yeah they did you know what I'm saying. I, like I said, wish wish and wishbone don't have a lot of um solo tracks. You know yeah, what I mean? I don't even think they had solo albums. Did That's they? what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? Like um Bone Thugs had a a run, but it was a it was a shorter run than you think. Cause Crazy Bone had his dolo album. Busy Bone had a dolo album. 
I don't know if Wish and Bone had a um, dolo, Flesh and Bone. Yeah, you know, if they did, if they did nobody heard of it. Yeah. You know, um, but but yeah, all in all, it was a straight versus man. It would have been better if Bone went it Bone went went against Twister and Duo Die. You know what I'm saying? Or Crucial yeah, Bone, But based on that, Bone would have destroyed them. Bone what 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 them. Twister? Twister? Twister, yeah, Twister or Duo Die, unless they combine it. They got like three songs. Who? Twister has the overnight celebrity. He's got the other one with Kanye, and he has probably like another one. Oh no, nah, Twister got a lot of tracks, man. But he don't have the. He the, don't have the, the bangers like that. He don't have the bangers like that. But if you talking about the the the, the songs, you feel I me? Mean? Like just because it was not a banger, that doesn't mean the song wasn't good. Like if you I mean, hear yeah, it, yeah, but for a versus battle, you know what I'm saying, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. Like Bone would would destroy them based on what we seen last night. And we know I know there's some more bone songs that they didn't play that they probably should have played. So Do they could have they could have gone in the back seat of my caddy, chopping I mean, up yeah, the that, I mean, obviously yeah. that's a classic song, but nobody knows I mean, any more do or die songs. Let's be see, honest. But, see, but that's why I said go against both of them because when they was coming up, both of them um um, really was like you didn't know if Twister was part of Do or Die. You feel me? So it kind of like, like was a group. That's what I'm saying. You could put both their 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 um work together to go against. Bone. It's only 20 it's tracks now. Bad. It's only it's 20 bad. tracks. Yeah, but it's still be enough. Twister like, with adrenaline they, they rush have... alone. Now, trust me, I'm a twi- I'm a Twister fan. Like I love Twister. I, I love Adrenaline Rush. There's a song. Uh, Get It Wet is, is, is a classic. Um, um, uh, overdose is, is a classic song. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You are gonna play a certain amount from Twister. You are gonna play a certain amount. What do or die? It's gonna make twenty songs. They don't need you. You know what I'm saying? They don't need fifty. They just only need twenty. Like they got twenty. Yeah, but they, but they ain't gonna like you know notorious. They ain't gonna compete with songs like Notorious Thugs for the love of money. First of the month. You know they're not gonna compete with those type of songs, yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, like you know, you know, but hey, you know, everybody got a drink. I'm just saying that because they the only ones that really was rapping fast like that. Or if if Bone Thug, see, Bone, I would say against um Buster. Kill Bone. Mm-hmm. I think Buster Rhymes will have, have to go against like somebody. Yeah, if you're talking about work, like the body of work, like man and bangers, psh, come on, man, that's that's a that's a no fucking brainer. But or, or Mariah Carey versus J Lo, like yo, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like nah, that would be that's that's, that's nah. Mariah Carey would destroy. It. I mean, like as far as body of work, I mean, I probably you know would jam to J Lo better. But J Lo like, got like, hits after hits. Come on, I know it's not just like, about the man, butt. Come on, man. She she got like what five songs? Not Mariah true. Carey got like a nah man a large library. J J Lo got J Lo <laughs> got a, a library of work, my friend. It's just because you we we men we we don't really listen to Mariah Carey like that and J Lo's like that. No, nah, my you know little I mean? sister is a Mariah Carey fan, so I had to hear that stuff growing up, bro. See? Like, so I know. That, that's <laughs> I what know I'm saying. About Mariah Carey for sure. Like, she got a bunch of like, yeah, she she would. I don't. That would be interesting who she would be matched up against to be competitive. But I think she would destroy J Lo. No I doubt. <laughs> I think it'll give them a run for their money, man. But but yeah, man, the verse was a tight work. Yeah, huh? yeah, it was, a, it was a great battle. Um, I didn't watch it live. I actually just been watching it like between the after it was over and yesterday. Um, but yeah, it was it was definitely one of the better battles. It makes me, f- I'm glad you know COVID actually produced Created this. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because if it wasn't for COVID, we would not have this. And it looks like these versus battles are here to stay, which is great. So, you know, I wouldn't mind going to one that was live. Just, Daddy just like, versus Rick Ross down here. Who? 
Trick Daddy versus Rick Ross. Exactly. Trick Daddy versus Rick Ross, or or, or if they did a No Limit versus Cash Money, I would want to go. I would want to be at that one. You know, what See, saying? but I they're wanna... not gonna go. Like people ain't people ain't really effing with, with Master P with New Orleans. You feel me? You know, like he huh? can't play no. He, nah, man. You know they over here make you know um so the slim sister saying he the one that killed them and other oh, people wow. saying yeah he the one that you know he the one that paid for that and you know that's why you can't come back to new orleans and certain things like that i've seen different interviews from different people so you know probably that's why he and cali you know he got his whole family to you know see murdering effing with him you feel what i'm saying like and that's you know brother. And that's his brother, you know, again, if your brother ain't messing with you, you know, then, you know, it, it speaks volumes, you know, if your if your own hood don't really F with you, you know what I'm saying? So, so again, you know, and, and for me, ever since Soldier Slim got killed, you ain't hear from Master P, you feel I me? Mean? So that's kind of suspicious on my end, you know, like, you know, him and you and him was beefing and supposedly now all of a sudden miraculously he get murked you know what i'm saying and and you don't say anything we don't hear from you it's just like you like man let me let me let me stay low key for years real quick you feel me so you know you know that murder can just be like one of them unsolved mysteries and and even though they found the dude they killed the dude. um but regardless of the fact you know it's who paid him to 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 do that you know what i'm saying like you know Hey, it is what it is, man. So I don't think that's gonna happen, you know. And I know um, Birdman and that's Master P don't get along. Birdman and um and 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 um, Master P don't get along again behind like you know like death on both sides or whatever like that. So it's yeah. it's deeper than rap when it comes to, to to no limit and cash money. So that would be a great one. You feel I me? Mean? Because I I even put that on the verses too under cash money versus no limit, and you know you had a lot of people like it, but for me, I don't know if that's gonna happen. You feel I me? Mean? Right, right, right. All right. So, um, so yeah. So the verses was classic. Uh, so uh, I mean, what what else is going on with 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 our teams? You know, we have we got the Dolphins.